Yeah, I suppose it probably panned out well for me in terms of, you know, after Dermot's injury, I probably came back at the right time to fill that gap. And then the broken up few weeks probably helped me kind of integrate back to full training. The Toulon and Northampton block, I was by no means uh, full training. It was just kind of a bandage me up and get me through, which I was fine with. And then the Six Nations block has been brilliant to allow me to kind of get back. Like I did my first completely full training week last week and I've trained fully this week. So kind of feel now it's coming at the right time where I'm in a kind of routine. I'm probably back up to full speed. And like you say, we have a, you know, hopefully a long, long run of games coming now. I think, you know, potentially all going well for us. It could be up to 15 weeks. So that's exciting for us. In my experience over the last few years, anyway, it's a great time, you know, where you kind of see guys grow into different roles and guys develop different skill sets. And, you know, yeah, you can probably test your game plan a small bit to an extent, but we've also had games, you know, that we had to win and take points out of. So we weren't by any means reinventing the wheel, but definitely a lot of opportunity there for guys. And I think, you know, a lot of people have taken that, which is great. So, yeah, look, it's... It, I don't think it would have been really, you know, it's not a kind of we'll try a load of different things and stuff like that. We've been grinding away, trying to just get better. It's one of those ones if you can come out of the block, you know, a few percent better and then you add all your internationals who obviously come off the back of a huge championship as well. Well, then, like, they'll obviously add another bit as well and you hope you go into what, you know, is traditionally called the business end of the season, you know, better. And that's all you can aim to do really over this block. Yeah, look, to be fair, I think, you know, while on the outside it might seem similar in terms of league position and stuff, I think last year we had just got a new coaching group, a new game plan, you know, for a few weeks we probably we weren't comfortable with it. This year has been a bit different where I think if you actually look at a lot of the games that we've lost, they've been pretty tight games that, you know, a lot of them we probably shouldn't have lost. And I think that's probably the difference, <coughs> excuse me, where I think we've been actually playing quite consistently, but maybe the results just haven't fallen our way whereas I think we put our hands up and say at the start of the last season we weren't really playing well we hadn't clicked with the game plan whereas this year I don't really think that's the case I think where we were starting to go into the business end this year from a better place so hopefully we can you know catapult our season from here it's been made in no way unclear to us it's huge for us in terms of points we have to climb up the league table and Ospreys are in the very same position as us so They'll be thinking the exact same thing. They're at home. They've won a lot at home. It's been a long time since they've lost in the Liberty Stadium. You know, and we're like I've played there a lot of times. I know it's a hard place to go and win. So I think we'll be just looking at the physical elements of it, getting our job right and allowing our attack game plan to kind of thrive. But we're also aware that, you know, they have a seriously good defence. They have an absolute load of turnovers in the league. So that that's going to be a huge uh, challenge for us retaining the ball. And I think if we can get that right then, you know, and we can display our game plan, hopefully we'll be a lot to handle for them. But we're under no illusions what they bring as well, you know, particularly around that mauling element, that counter-attack threat they bring, and that kind of, you know, they, they're very clinical around their, like, kicking game to get territory, you know, and they often end up, you know, catching you behind the gain line there, and all of a sudden now you're defending another maul, and it's very cyclical if you don't stop it. So... We're under no illusions how strong a team they are, you know, and it's going to be a big challenge. But again, one that we're looking forward to because we have to take points out of it. These are a sticky outfit. Immensely impressed by their coach, Toby Booth. I've known him for a long time. And he's brought that squad together. They've not had an easy year. Remember a year ago with all the, the, uh, the contracting negotiations and there was an, a near strike, wasn't there? Six Nations 23 last year, the England-Wales game. And he's really brought that squad together. They're playing a good brand of rugby and they're just tough. They're tough to play against. Um, got a good set piece, a good maul, so discipline and penalty access will be top of the list not to do again this week. I'm a big fan of them. Um, good breakdown threat, kick the ball a bit, put pressure on us, apply pressure through their kicking game. Um, we're going to have to be good Friday night, Tom. I've been building this game up for a long time. You know, in this block, we're without certain players. They won't be without... Certain, sorry, they will be with certain players. Getting back from the international, it's a huge game for us. Billy, um, yeah, I'm excited by it all, actually. Doing a research on him. He's going to be great. He's going to be particularly good for helping the young guys come through. We need someone with a bit of experience. And he's, he's at a crossroads in his career, Neil. He's 29. And it's a new challenge for him. He likes how we're playing the game. I think he's going to fit in really well. I'm really... When the, uh, the opportunity came to speak to him, I was really excited. But having spoke to him, I think he's going to be a great addition to this squad. 
there's been no drop off. Um, each of those games brought different challenges and we were able to look at um, a bit of the depth of our squad, some younger guys, and they were able to step up for us because they train with us every day. Um, Crusaders game, really proud of our performance then uh, against a, a real top-notch team and we played quick, got a game going that night. And the same with Quinns as well, right from the get-go. In both games, we started really well. So it, it, it has given us momentum, which we didn't have this time last year, Tom. This time last year with Ospreys, coincidentally here, Scarlet's down in court, which is a really weird game to say the least. Then there was too much dead time, weeks off. So we filled them with the, when they had the opportunity, when I was presented with the opportunity to, to play those two games against prestigious clubs, we jumped at it. But again, just gives us momentum, tested our squad depth. And here we are with a game, a huge game.